Hi everybody, Dan Ullman, Mike Beer for Breeders' Cup Focus. In this edition, we're going to take a look at the top contenders for the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint. Let's throw them up on the screen right now. They are ranked in order of Daily Racing Form National Handicapper Mike Watchmaker's very preliminary morning line odds. And for expanded Breeders' Cup contender lists and video previews, head on over to drf.com forward slash BC. Unique Bella, just a remarkably talented three-year-old filly is the seven to two morning line favorite. Bob Baffert's Veil Dory, very busy and very successful in the early part of the year is at four to one. The speedy Finley's Lucky Charm is at six, along with Paula's silver lining for Chad Brown. Sky Diamonds, eight to one for the Bill Spar. Barn. Then you've got By the Moon and Finest City. Finest City last year's Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint winner at 12. Karina Mia and Highway Star at 15, both exiting the Gallant Bloom. And Emise Mesa, 20 to 1. She is 4 for 4 in 2017, but she is yet to try dirt. Might be her unique Bella. Remarkably talented. Unfortunately, we have not seen yeah. her in a very long time. She will have a prep, though, for the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint and the LA Woman Stakes at Santa Anita on October the 8th. But let's go back to an early race this year for Unique Bella. This, the Santa Isabel, she runs very well. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we haven't seen her since this race. This was a really good performance. This is, you know, uh, a little bit of extra distance for a mile and a 16th in this race, and she handled it pretty well. Um, I guess if she does come back um, and run well in her um, first start since this in a couple of weeks, maybe you will see her in the Breeders' Cup Philly Mare Sprint. Um, and if she comes back as good as she was when she left, and beyond that shows a little bit of natural improvement as a late season three-year-old Philly is, is likely to do, she might be pretty tough. Based on what we've been seeing from this division, the Phillies and Mare Sprint in this division all year long, she has every right to be able to beat these horses. And maybe just from a truly natural talent so standpoint, good. she's head and shoulders above the rest, but she would only have one recent prep leading into the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint. Vale Dory at 4-1 to one for trainer Bob Baffert. Let's go back to the Clement L. Hirsch Stakes, where she took on the current leader in the Distaff Division, Stellar Wynn. That's her in the yellow silks, blue cap down towards the inside. This is Vale Dory. She's going to fight and fight hard all the way down to the wire. Stella wins just a little better than she is. Stella wins just a little better that, that, than her. That's right. I mean, she's given her a real tussle in both times. Uh, both times they ran against each other uh, over the summer. Uh, she just can't quite get the better of that horse. I don't you don't mind them turning her back to go seven either. I think that's a pretty good pretty good idea for this film. Matt Bernier and I have been fans of Vale Dory for a very long time. And going into this year in January, we said Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint for Vale Dory. She ran so well in those early season races yes, on the West did. Coast going long that Baffert Sure. Why not? Yeah. She took a shot against the big girls like Stella Wynn, and she was far from embarrassed, but I think this is a better spot for her than the Breeders' Cup distaff. Finley's Lucky Charm is very, very fast out of the gate for Brett Calhoun, 6-1 to one on the morning line. Let's watch Finley's Lucky's Charm most recent race in the Honorable Miss. She is pure speed. She is confronted by Paula's Silver Lining, who is on this list as well, and Paula's Silver Lining got the better of her. Yeah, Paul Silverlining got actually got a very clever ride in this race to keep up with Finley's Lucky Charms early pace here, and she's going to duel her down through the stretch, by the way, that horse gaining in third there by the moon, another horse who we'll probably see in the Breeders' Cup Philly Mare Sprint. She runs really well in this race, making ground on those two all the way down to the wire. I don't know how easy it is to separate any of these three. Finley's Lucky Charm, you know, maybe she's got the best speed and that will help her. I don't know about seven eights for her, though. That was the question I was going to ask you, whether you liked her a little bit better at six than at seven. She will prep at Keeneland in the Thoroughbred Club of America. Uh, Paula Silver Lining, boy, I like the fact that Chad Brown decided to skip the gallant bloom and sort of train up to the Breeders' yeah. Cup uh, off her most recent performance, uh, a race where she was subpar, because she did a lot of work early this year in the spring, racking up a couple of grade one stakes victories. She's very solid. Yeah, she, she's a really I guess that's a good way to put it. She's a really solid horse. I don't know about um, doing a lot of work this year. She's only run four times, but I do agree with you um, that those were some th hard fought wins. They, they, that's very true. I do agree with you though too that you know maybe just stopping on her and train up to the BC because she was bad last time and she really needs to rebound out of a poor performance in the ballerina. Sky Diamonds has kind of been one of the now horses in yeah. this division. What a remarkable claim from an underrated horseman in Bill Spar and got a win, I believe, at Del Mar last time out, so proves yeah. that she can be capable over the track. Uh, I wouldn't underestimate her. I, no knocks on this horse at all. They, she's done nothing 
but run really good races for Spa. They've gone longer with her. She's fine with that. They cut her back. She's fine with that. She has a really nice running style. She's a huge contender in this race. Let's take a look at the top contenders for the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint one more time. Highway Star is just such a hard trying New York bred. She got the better of Karina Mia in that gallant bloom. By her speed figure, that race, though, came back yeah. a little bit light. Yeah, she's not, uh, she's a New York bred. She's not very flashy on paper. I feel like if you don't know her and you just sort of started going through her PPs, you'd probably yeah, go, all right, yeah, she's, she's pretty good. She tends to be around it all the time. Don't count her out if they do show up in the Breeders' Cup because this is her distance. She has the running style to get any kind of a trip in the race, and she wants to win. She's a contender if they go to the Breeders' Cup with her. Finest City, uh, last year's winner of the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint. Uh, this season hasn't exactly yeah. gone very well for her. She would be running in this race off a fairly substantial layoff. Yeah, she was no match for Sky Diamonds the last time we saw her. We'll see if she can rebound to one of her better races. It will be interesting to see if the Zenyatta at Santa Anita on Saturday produces a horse turning back for the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint. Brent, and maybe Paradise Woods would be that horse. Do you hope. think that she would go for the distaff, let's say, if she runs well or, or wins the Zanyana? Yeah, I don't know. I guess that would be up to Mandela. I guess maybe that's part of the reason why he wants to run her in the longer race uh, on Saturday, just to see what happens. Um, I, personally, I would like to see her maybe turn back and run and go seven. She's When she's right and when she runs her best race, she's pretty impressive. Unique Bella, though, very, very impressive this year. Uh, we expect to see her in the L.A. Woman Stakes at Santa Anita on October the 8th. 7-2 to two favor on the watchmaker preliminary line. Again, for expanded Breeders' Cup contender lists, comments, etc., head on over to drf.com forward slash bc.